Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how you can use the Linux terminal in order to change the brightness of your OLED screen. But first things first, what is the problem? So if you're using the Ubuntu distribution of Linux and you have a laptop or a computer with an OLED screen, you cannot change the brightness here in the control center. If you change this slider, nothing will happen according to the brightness. And the reason is really simple. This slider adjusts the backlight or adjusts by default the backlight of your display. And if you have an OLED display, there is no backlight. So this slider does basically nothing. There are possibilities out there how to fix this problem with the slider. But in this video, we will only focus on how to do it with the Linux terminal. But who am I? So. I've installed Linux about two days ago and I've never used something like Linux before and furthermore I'm no computer expert. So therefore I wanted a solution that is really easy and accessible for me as a beginner and I don't want it to copy a lot of code from the internet I do not understand. So this really so this video is really easy and straightforward. So what we're going to do, first of all, we have to open our terminal window. And now we have a two step process. First of all, we have to figure out how our internal display is called. Therefore, we enter a quick or short command called xrender. Please make sure to write it correctly. Minus minus current. And then we press enter. And what we get is a bunch of stuff. But what is interesting is at the top, so we scroll up at the top, here we can see our maximum resolution. And in the next line, in the second line, we see the name of our display. Here, my display is called EDP minus one minus one, but it is likely that you have a little bit another name, for example, only one times minus one. What we do is we copy this and go back down and type in clean, or clear, sorry. To make yeah display fresh and clean so in the next step we will adjust the brightness therefore again type in x render and now we have to define our output so minus minus output and there we have to insert what we've copied so here in my case this edp and then we can adjust the brightness by typing minus minus brightness and then we can insert a brightness value. But please be aware, do not insert a zero and press enter. If you insert a zero, your brightness will decrease to zero percent. And if you have an OLED screen, zero is zero. So your display is completely black. What you can do instead is insert a 0 0.5 for 50% of brightness. Press enter and your display will get darker. If you do the same thing again, insert 0 0.2, your display gets even more darker. And if you insert just a 1, you're back at 100%. But again, do not insert just a 0, you will not see anything anymore. So this is, so this is it, how you can change the brightness of your display. And in the next few minutes, I will show you how you write a own script that you cannot ins ins insert a zero so that is blocked and it is a little bit more easier and shorter to write. I will show you. You just type in b con for brightness control. This will not work for you if you have not written the script yet. And type in for example a zero, you get an error message. This is German and it goes something like this. You have to insert a value between 0 0.2 and 1. And with this beacon, you can type in 0 0.5 and yeah, it is really, really easy and a little bit more secure than the option we've did before. So this is what I'm going to talk about now, how you write this beacon script. Welcome to the second part of the video where I'll show you how to create your really own bash script to make the brightness control with the terminal much more easier, faster and more secure. First of all, we have to open our terminal and I will open my Explorer 2. 
and here I navigate to my personal folder. The same thing I do in the terminal. So I press CD and now I'm in my personal folder with the command ls. I list all my data inside there. So left and right is pretty much the same status. But there are also some hidden files and hidden folders. To make them visible in my explorer, I type in show me hidden files. And in my terminal, I type in ls minus a to show all files. So now we are going to create an own hidden folder where we store all our bash scripts because we do not have to access them all the time. So type in mkdar for make directory dot all hidden files start with a dot and we call this folder bin and now we press enter and as you can see here we've created this bin file here in the terminal we can type in ls again minus a and also here we have our bin file so what we're going to do now is we're going to navigate inside this file so double click here and in the terminal we type in cd change directory dot bin slash now we are inside this directory to create a file it is really easy just type in nano nano is a text editor and after nano we need the file name so we do not have a file yet so i type in beacon for brightness control and as you can see in the terminal now i'm in a text editor and here in my explorer a file appeared first of all this is a bash script so we have to tell the computer that this file should be executed with the bash program therefore just type in hash exclamation mark slash usr slash bin slash emb space bash this is the place where the bash program is located and this first line is essential that it will work in the next line we can start with our actual program first of all we need an input variable because we want to type in our value of how we wanted to change the brightness for example 1% 2% 10% I just call this variable value and variables I write in uppercase letters so then we have to add equal dollar sign and then we have to write inside swift brackets and there we can type in one colon minus one and now we can write along in the next line quick explanation the one indicates that this is our first parameter our first variable and this one after the minus is our default value so if we do not type in anything it or the program assumes okay we've typed in one in our case one indicates 100 percent now we have to make a check so if somebody enters a number that is close to zero or maybe a word like hello we don't want the program to execute therefore we can use an if statement so just type in if make some double brackets open double brackets closed and inside this brackets we can check our input to do so just type in dollar sign value so we refer to this value over there and it should be bigger than 0 0.1.9999 so a value bigger than 0 0.2 and the value should be smaller than one so again type in dollar sign value smaller as 1.00001 and in this and this range should be our value so our if condition is complete make in semicolon type in then 
and there we can the next line we can tap to make the code a little bit more beautiful and if this condition is true so if our input value is in between this range we want the line we've discussed previously in the first part to execute so x render minus minus output our display name minus minus brightness and here previously we've already always inserted a fixed value but now we wanted to insert this variable so delete a fixed value and type in dollar sign value and this command is exactly the same that we've done previously in the console go into the next line and if this is not true we can write else tab echo and inside this echo we can write error insert a, insert a number between 0 0.2 and and 1 so now there's only one thing left here we have if now we have to close this if with an fi and this is basically it this is the whole code now we save it by pressing ctrl o then we press space uh, not space sorry we press enter and string Control X to execute our text editor and uh, to exit our text editor. <laughs> Sorry. Now we've created a file. We can click and we can see the code here. Now we have to make this file executable. We have to change the file mode. There's a simple command called ch mode for change mode plus X. So X stands for executable and then we type in our file name called beacon and now our file is executable to execute our file we have to type dot slash so our current directory and then the um, name of our file beacon and now our brightness is 100 percent if we want to change the brightness we type in the same and type in 0 0.5 our brightness went down to 50 percent type in for example 0 we get an error message and type just in beacon and we are back at 100 percent but there's one thing left we are going to do we don't want to type in our directory so we just want to type in beacon and therefore we have to add it to the path variable or as a path variable to make it globally accessible therefore we just have to type in one single command therefore we use again our editor nano so type in nano then navigate to slash home slash username so here what's here type in here your username slash dot bash rc so we open with our text editor nano this bash rc file press enter and scroll down at the bottom we have to append one line of code to add our folder to the path or the path variables so type in path path equals dollar sign path colon slash and then we have to insert the place where our file is stored it is in home slash again your own username Yannick what's here your username slash our folder we've created dot bin and again slash and this is it we're basically done so press ctrl o and enter 
to save it, press Ctrl X to, to exit and then type in the terminal exit to exit the terminal and if we start the terminal again we just can type in beacon 0.4 for example and the brightness will change. We can use beacon to get 100% and if we type in beacon for example 0 we get an error message and if we type in beacon something else we also get an error message. So I hope you liked this video, please leave me a thumbs up like, share this video and write me your own approaches down below in the comments and I hope I could help you in some, in some way. Thank you, I'm out, bye.